Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling. And today, we're getting ready to make a strawberry peach pie with me, A.V. Now listen, strawberries in season, peaches in season. So listen, if you like those two, you know that combination is gonna be right. We're getting ready to turn this into something nice and beautiful. I don't know if you guys ever made a strawberry shortcake before, but if you have, this is gonna be even just as easy as that. So, I don't wanna over talk it. We wanna break right into it. And remember, this is the channel that's taking the mystery out of cooking and simplifying these recipes. And with that being said, let's get it. Okay, look, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some water running. And then what we're gonna do is just rinse these off, get these nice and clean. All right, after you get through rinsing off your peaches, you wanna just go ahead and just dry them. Get yourself a paper towel, just dry them, and then next we're gonna go ahead and just repeat the same process, but we're gonna just, you know, go with the strawberries. Okay, look, first thing we wanna do is just take it, you know what, make sure you get yourself a sharp knife. Just go around like this. Go ahead, give it a little twist. Come on, baby. Make sure we got it open all the way. Now listen, you want to be real careful right here. I see that, you know, when you're looking at it right now, it's like I'm cutting towards the palm of my hand. You want to be, you know, extremely careful. I probably should have positioned my hand, you know, a little bit better than that. You know, so that I don't just accidentally slip and cut myself. But, you know what, I was trying to treat it like it was an avocado. But what you want to do is stick your thumbs in between where you had cut it. And then just, you know, very delicate, delicately. You know, just separate them. After that, then you want to go ahead and take the uh, take the seed out. Once you got the seed out, then go ahead and just cut yourself some slices. After you finish, you know, slicing your peaches, go ahead and let's move on over to our uh, strawberries. What you want to do is you just want to cut the top. You want to cut off the green the greenery. After you cut that, as you can see right there, then I just go ahead and cut them in the halves. Now it depends on how big your strawberries are. Some of the bigger ones, I cut the halves in the halves. So you end up with just four sli uh, individual slices. Okay, look, now we just get ready to go ahead and add, you see this, a half a cup of white sugar. We just wanna, this is what takes us back right here. You wanna know what's gonna draw the, you know, the juices out and that sweet goodness right here. That's this sugar right here. And then after this, we're gonna come back with a third cup of brown sugar. But what we wanna do is just coat it and then we're gonna let it sit up for a little while. I'm gonna say we're gonna go ahead and let it sit, I don't know, for maybe a couple of hours. We just wanted to, you know, bring everything out. Then we're gonna mix that up. Now, let me go ahead and get, get the brown sugar. And now, we'll come with a third cup of the brown sugar. Then we just wanna go ahead and wanna be careful with it. You don't wanna, you know, this fruit is delicate. We just wanna make sure we got it stirred around, make sure it's all coated. There it is. And what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna cover this and let this sit up. I'll put it in the refrigerator and let this sit for about two hours. I actually ended up after I covered them, I let them sit in the refrigerator for four hours. And then when they were done, what you're looking at, that's actually four hours worth of uh, sitting in the refrigerator. Perfect. All right, look, next thing we're gonna do is, I'm getting ready to use these uh, peels, this Pillsbury uh, pie crust. Listen, there's two coming here in the box. This right here is what I call a uh, time saver. So we wanna just go ahead and pull this out. I'm gonna ask you, look, when you pull this out, just keep one out, put the other one back in the refrigerator because it's best handled, you know, when it's chilled. You know, I don't know how long it's gonna take you guys to do it. So, you got two, I'm putting this one back in the refrigerator. And once you got it spread out, if you got any tears, you can kind of like just mash it. It's like dough. Take you back to your childhood days of Play-Doh. Listen, very simple. And this is the easy part. I mean, to be honest with you, it's all easy. Look, we're just gonna put it here. Once we got it in the middle, we're just gonna work it. You know, and then we're just gonna start stretching it. And again, don't worry if you got any tears, it's no problem. All we gotta do is like just squeeze it together, you know, and it'll, it'll come right back in the form. Just keep working it around like this. 
then you want to make sure, listen, that it pushes all the way into the corner. So I use my thumbs. Let me get like this so you can see. I just take my thumb and go like that. Not too hard. Anywhere you see it might be a little thin, just move the dough around. You know, take your finger, you just want to get it so it's just not so thin. And before you guys ask, listen, I'm not going to pre-bake this. If you want to pre-bake it, you can. You can put it in the oven at 200 degrees for about, you know, about 10 or 15 minutes just to get a little pre-bake on it. All right, now we're getting ready to add our filling. Now, get ready to take four tablespoons of butter. I'm getting ready to melt that. Then we're gonna add some vanilla extract and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it inside of here. We're gonna mix it up and then we're gonna get our pie crust ready. Now after you melted your butter, go ahead and add your uh, vanilla extract. You know, just one teaspoon to it. Teaspoon to it, just, you know, mix it up real good and then go ahead and add it to your, you know, your pie filling. Now look, if you notice, remember I told you, I put mine in the refrigerator and it sat for four hours so it was nice and chilled. By adding that hot, you know, melted uh, butter, you can see right there where the butter starts to take its regular, you know, form. So don't say, uh, that's all good. That's just that buttery goodness, you know, that goes along with it. After that, what you want, what you want to do is just go ahead and take your pie filling, your filling, your peaches and your strawberry, and just go ahead and just start filling your pie. And notice I used a spoon that was whole because it didn't make a difference whether I uh, drain, you know, some of the uh, liquid or not because you're going to need to put a little bit of the liquid in there just so that, you know, that it'll help form the pie. After that, now it's time to go ahead and get your your remaining pie crust. Go ahead and open that up. And listen, you can, right here, you can go with a lattice top. You can cut those in strips or you can go whole. And if you saw the, uh, the thumbnail or a picture of this already on Instagram or whatever, you can see I just went ahead and just made it whole like this and then just cut a, uh, a design into it now once you got your pie crust on the top what you want to do is on the edges of the edge of the top and the edge of the bottom crust what you want to do is just like mash them together then you want to make like some sort of design now this was like my you know to me this was like top notch not quite the best at this you guys can like figure it out you know and learn as you go but you want to do something of that nature right there now what i did was i just took a knife and just cut some uh some vent holes in it in a pattern so that it would you know halfway look nice after that you want to go ahead and you know what we're going to go ahead and use i use this time i used the egg wash just scrambled an egg you know got me a brush and then brush it on top and you know what after i was looking at it i went ahead and took a uh, a napkin and kind of like wiped off some of the excess you know puddles I like the egg, and I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, do you like egg wash or do you want to use melted butter on the top to help it brown? All right, now you should preheat your oven at 350 degrees for one hour, and after you're done, this is what you have right here. Here you go, you guys, strawberry peach pie at its finest. So tell me what you guys think about that there. Super easy, huh? Listen, I love peaches and I like strawberries, so why not combine the two and this is what we got. Hey, I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below and tell me what's your favorite go-to, you know, fruit pie. Hey, with that being said, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, like this video, and share it. Let everybody know there's a channel out here to simplify these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Hey, you guys, with that being said, you know how I like to end them.